is the wine glass company because Riedel we have for every grape variety its own glass or messenger that's how we refer to our glasses and uh, the basic uh, setup is the foremost consumed grape varieties which we use these glasses for uh, at uh, consumer tastings around the country around the world where we gather a group of people going through this kind of wine glass experience and uh, we use the four grape varieties as mentioned most consumed two white wine two red wine one would be the chardonnay one would be the sauvignon blanc and when we talk red wine the most consumed grape varieties are pinot noir and cabernet this is the basic setup which i also recommend for people to have at home and as a reference point we use uh, a plastic cup as simple as it is. I know that most people might not want to drink wine from a plastic cup, they shouldn't. And there's a true reason for that, it's because the aroma development by far is not as intensified as from the right wine glass. At Riedel, the wine glass company, we're producing glass since 250 plus years. And uh, our goal is to find the perfect loudspeaker. And these glasses are never developed on a drawing board but through workshops where a particular wine grape variety is poured into multiple different shaped glass and we determine a new glass by producing prototypes. Uh, how the glasses work, for example here with the Sauvignon Blanc, key is that you never over pour. We say three to four ounces, two fingers is what you should pour. Wine is about sharing, bringing people together pick up the glass, always hold the stemmed glass by the stem, you swirl the wine, which means that you lift the aromas, the molecules of wine, bring them to your nose, smell, never over pour because this would not allow you to proper smell the wine, the wine needs to develop in your glass, and then it's all about the shape of the glass, which in this case we have Sauvignon Blanc, which is a wine higher in acidity, therefore we want to have the message more towards the tip of our tongue, the sensor for sweetness, where the wine leaves its first impression, the brain takes a picture, and uh, we enjoy the different aromas. Um, in this particular glass, when you tilt the glass away from you, we'll notice that due to the rim diameter, the shape of the bowl, the flow of wine becomes very pointy, which is very important. The more alcohol content we have in the wine, the bigger bowl, the size of the bowl becomes. Sauvignon Blanc, in average, 13%, Chardonnay, 14%. Same as with Pinot Noir and Cabernet, now it is up to 15%. And uh, not only grapefruit specific glasses we have in but also spirits glasses. Uh, one of the latest addition was our tequila glass, which was developed with the government of tequila, the region in Mexico, and we went through the same procedure. So try to taste your wines at home from multiple sh different shaped glasses, and you notice that yes, the shape of a glass has a huge impact on the perception of wine.